Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. Uh, we are shooting episode 260. And today we are going to discuss whether you can consider to invest in the US markets. How have been the returns of India versus the US markets? And I'll also talk about some uh, more nuances of investing in the US market. But first a look at the market today. So after many days of uh, an uptrend, market seems to be sort of uh, you know, consolidating near this 16,000 level. Uh, and today, of course, uh, there was slight softness in the market with Nifty dropping about half a percent. Uh, pharma stocks, however, did quite well along with FMCG and metals as well. Whereas energy stocks and uh, banking stocks uh, took the downward trend. The market seems to be stuck in this range now, plus minus 200 points around 16,000. And the US CPI numbers which are due uh, tonight uh, seem to be the major trigger for the market either way. If we get a very high CPI number, then probably 0.75% or even more maybe on the cards later in the month. So that's, that probably seems to be the determining factor at this stage where the global markets are headed. In terms of the breadth of the market, the breadth was not so bad. Small caps actually moved up 0.2%. Mid and small cap index also moved up 0.1%. Uh, Nifty next 50 was almost flat at minus 0.03%. And the larger caps were down by about half a percent. In the weekend investing small case universe, uh, many strategies were flat between zero and half a percent. Uh, MI50 was down 0.6 percent, Evergreen 0.7 percent, MI82.7 percent, MI25 down 0.92 percent, and NNF10 hit the most at minus 1.23 percent. So nothing really. Uh, are chattering in the numbers today. They are pretty very much sideways type of market. But within the larger caps, you can see Reliance, HDFC, HDFC Bank, uh, Indus in Bank, Bharti Airtel, uh, and HCL Tech along with TCS were moving down. And some FFC, FMCG stocks, consumption stocks, Asian Paints, Lever, uh, JSW Steel stood out while Tata Steel was down. And pharma stocks, DV's lab, Cipla, Sun Pharma were all up. So a mixed bag today where banking and finance was weak, IT remains weak, energy stocks were also down, some FMCG and pharma stocks were up. In terms of the top 500 stocks, you had KEC International up almost 10%, Anupam Rasayan up 7%, Previ Special up 7%, Clean Science, FDC also up between 6 and 7%. On the downside, Adani Green that had been going up dramatically in the past many sessions gave up 8%, Sterling Wilson down 6.5%, Adani Total Gas minus 4.5%, Suzlon Energy and Rajesh Exports were also down about 4%. So the question is, should you consider investing in the US market? So the answer is twofold. One is the purpose of investing. So one major purpose of investing which many people feel is for superior returns and of course the other purpose is to have diversification away from regional equity so indian equity uh, if you sort of combine with us equity then it gives you some regional diversification but from a returns perspective i want to show you a few charts which may come as a surprise to some of you so we have plotted on this chart the returns of uh, the S&P 500 and the Nifty. And the Nifty we have taken on USD terms. So we have taken the Nifty chart and divided it by USD INR to get the dollar Nifty chart so that we can make a comparison like to like bet between the two charts. And you can see here since the pandemic uh, started in March 2020. Uh, S&P 500 is up 70 percent and Nifty in US dollar terms is up 102 percent. So much superior performance in the last two years and one quarter 
in terms of the nifty index so a lot of people in their mindset feel that you know nifty is not performing as good as american markets but that is not the case if you take just the last one year again you can see since last july to current day uh nifty is again up versus the s&p 500 although it is down minus 4% in last one year in us dollar terms in s&p 500 uh, index is down 10 and a half percent so over one year over two and a half years at both places nifty has performed better then so we took a, another very long shot of 22 23 years of data and seen since 1999 the black line is nifty the blue line is s&p 500 you can see that s&p 500 over 22 years has gone up 228 percent and both are not inclusive of dividends so we'll just leave the dividends aside uh, but nifty in the same period has gone up 943 percent and we are talking in terms of on a per usd uh, in usd terms so in inr terms it has done even better so what we can see here is that there was a period from 2008 till 2020 where in us dollar terms nifty did not make a new high virtually and in s&p 500 from 2000 till 2013 it was it did not make a new high so there was sort of phased uh, performance so while s&p 500 was flat all this while nifty made huge gains and then when nifty was flat s&p 500 was making huge gains so from that perspective they did a very good sort of diversification hedge for each other but from a returns perspective nifty has performed far far better than s&p 500 so i am sure many of us and even before we did this study i also felt that dollar returns of nifty would not be anywhere near s&p 500 but you just look at the difference and from a perspective of you know when um, uh, the snp is rising and 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 uh, the indian market is flat so that gives you the diversification of emerging markets uh, and mature markets both in your portfolio so from the perspective of diversification yes we must have international equity especially us equity but from a perspective of returns it should be biased more towards indian equity i feel so this is the kind of uh, sort of uh, insight that i wanted to share with you another currency because currency uh, is the current flavor where most moves are happening so you know where would you want to travel in the us or in europe and you can see here that the euro inr has virtually been unchanged in the last 8 years we were at 80 in 2013 14 and we are still near 80 although it has gone up and down but you know it's been a flat line from point to point for about 8 or 9 years whereas the same time period the us dollar from 13 to 22 has dropped indian rupee has dropped almost 50% to the dollar so if you are traveling to the us i mean things are getting extremely expensive for rupee holders whereas if you are traveling to uh, europe i mean things have stagnated in terms of the you know expenditure that you're making so this is a tip on where you should be going what is better value in terms of uh, you know going to your next travel destination so this is all i had uh, today a short uh, daily bite i hope you are liking these tidbits and insights do uh, give a like to the channel if you like this content do subscribe to it if you haven't so far and please please share it with other folks those who you think can make use or have some benefit out of these daily bites thank you bye